What's going on guys? P. Will back here for another video. In this video, we're starting a new series. I want to welcome you to a new series on my channel called Basic Training Stories. I'm just going to go through basic training, random stories that I remember from my mind, right, that I remember from basic training, and I'm going to go through and uh, give you my experiences. So today we're starting with reception. So I've talked about reception before on my channel, but it's been a while. It, I think I haven't talked about it since I got out of basic training and started making videos in my AIT barracks room. You can go back and watch those videos. They're still on the channel. I'm not going to take them down because they are uh, history, P will history. And they're as cringy as they may be, they're still on my channel. You can go check them out. Uh, yeah, so I've talked about reception, but I'm going to go through it again because some of you are new. Uh, a lot of you are new. So I'm going to give you my experience. So I went to basic training at Fort Jackson, South Carolina, and I left for reception. Day one was I uh, shipped September 5th, 2017. And I really had no, I wish I would have done more research, had done more research on reception. Reception was the worst experience I've ever had in my life. It was the worst part of basic training. It was the hardest part of basic training. It was the, probably the worst thing I've done in my life. So what happens at reception? Reception is your initial area or the initial place you ship to to go to basic training. When you ship to basic training, you don't go straight to basic training, you go to reception. And this is where you're gonna get all of your gear. This is where you're gonna do a lot of your administrative paperwork. You're gonna get your shots. You're gonna get fitted for your dress uniform. There's so much randomness that goes on. You get your ID card, you get your ID tags, your dog tags. There's a lot to do and not a lot of period of time to do it. So I left for basic training, like I said, on the 5th. Well, my basic training started on September 10th. So I had four full days of getting stuff done. Probably like, P. Will, why is this the worst part of basic training? I'm gonna explain it. I arrive at like 10.30 at night and I'm expecting to like get in, you know, maybe sign for a barracks room and go to sleep. I get out of the van and we go stand under the United States Basic Training, Fort Jackson, whatever that sign is. And we're standing there, we're standing there for probably an hour and then the drill sergeant finally comes out and starts smoking us uh, because we're just, you know, bad people. We get smoked, we go inside, we watch this little video, we eat Jimmy D's. It's literally, it counts as a meal for the army, but it's literally like a thing of frosted mini wheats, like maybe a peanut butter and jelly, graham cracker bar type thing and a fruit cup. And that's your meal. Do a bunch of paperwork. People got in trouble for going to sleep. You're stressed out because you're in a new place. You're just like, where am I? He's like, write this here, write this there. Stand up, don't fall asleep. Just yelling at everybody, right? Everybody stand up because you suck and you can't follow directions. Stand up. So he makes us stand up instead of sit, which sucks. So at this point, we, that goes on till probably one o'clock in the morning just standing there from for like two hours doing paperwork and i honestly can't remember sequentially like i went from there to there to here to here to there but i know it's a haze and i remember at some point in that night we go sign for the barracks room like this is where you're going to be staying set all your stuff down but we're not staying so it's midnight already all right we have another hit time in 10 minutes we form back up, we go, and then at this point, I think we go get our PT uniforms. We go, no, I remember exactly what happened. We went and sat out in front of the, so instead of going into the barracks, we sat outside the, we sat outside the store where you go through and get your PT clothes, I guess like the warehouse. We sat there, they don't open until four in the morning. So we literally stood in formation from midnight until zero four. I think we got to sat down once for like 10 minutes. We stood in formation outside and from midnight until 04. File through, got our PT clothes. It took a, probably an hour for everybody to get through. We go back outside, we form up, and we wait for the chow hall to open at 06 or 5.30 or something. We stood some more. We went through, got, at this point I'm getting tired, but I'm fine. Went through, got, got chow, came back. Went back and then started getting our OCP uniforms. We, you know, got your green duffel bags. You're going through, you're getting your pants, you're getting your top, you're getting this, you're getting that. That goes on until noon, till lunch chow. So the theme of reception is you do one thing in between each chow. Get done with lunch chow. I'm getting tired at this point, but I'm like, you know, I can make it. I can make it till tonight. We've got plenty of time to go to sleep or I'll have plenty of time to sleep tonight. Go through again. Uh, I think at this time time we we go to the other side and we're filing through and getting haircuts I think I think we go get our haircuts now because it's our turn at the barber shop it like snakes through the whole building so there's a line you can't I don't know if you can imagine it but it, there's a line and it snakes around and then there's benches in between there's lines on either side of the building 
and then the lines are coming down the hallway and then the line comes to these benches so you get a opportunity to sit down well when you're sitting there you can't go to sleep or anything you're supposed to be re reading your little blue book of knowledge it's uh, like your rank structure uh general orders army knowledge you're supposed to be reading it people are getting yelled at stand up come over here getting smoked because they they're falling asleep get our haircuts go to dinner chow and after this i'm like oh you know maybe one more thing we go get our boots i think we go get fitted for boots no no at this point we go to the shop at to get our hygiene supplies and everything and i'm like Yes, this is a great sign. We are about to, you know, get our, we're getting our hygiene stuff so we can go to sleep. We get all of that, come back, it's like 1900. I'm assuming we're about to go to the barracks. I'm told we have another hip formation at, 1900, uh, at 1930, and then we've got to go do something else. So we're standing outside, it starts raining. I don't know if you can hear the rain behind me, but it's symbolic. It starts raining and we're standing outside in our summer PTs and it's pouring rain and we're just standing out there and it sucks and it's cold. Some people can get under a little awning or something, but we go, we go wait somewhere else for like four hours. So I'm getting really tired at this point and we're all, and everybody is, it's been literally probably 36 hours since I've slept at this point. And I, everybody's just standing and like kind of falling back and like you're holding everybody up and we're all just like, we're sucking at this point. And rinse and repeat that for another day. So I probably went somewhere in the 60 hours without sleep, without formal sleep. I fell asleep standing in, the next morning at the chow hall after this day, I stood in line at the chow hall and literally fell asleep and fell into the person behind me. And like dude had to grab me and like put me up and I was like, sorry man, like you were just so tired. I remember I was eating uh, like a gravy biscuit or something and I literally fell asleep for a second and uh, cause I, my face fell into the, into the chow and then I was like, oh and then kept eating and everybody was doing it. And the night, all of this keeps happening. And then the, the last night in reception, still haven't slept at all. Haven't even been inside the barracks room. Haven't even slept. We do a layout of all of our gear to make sure we have everything. And it's like, he said, if we can get this done quickly, y'all can go in and get some sleep. So we're all going as fast as possible. He probably said that at like 1900. We lay everything out the first time and of course not everybody has everything, but it went by fast. I was like, all right, we can do this a few more times. Maybe it took like 45 minutes. Well, my morale slowly de declines and I finally figure out we're not gonna get to sleep because it's like midnight and we still haven't, we're not even done yet. So uh, he says peop the people that have finished and successfully laid out their clothes, you can go sign for some blankets. So we went and signed for the green, generic green army blankets, right? and each two people get a pillow and a blanket. So I took the pillow, other dude took the blanket, and we literally just fell asleep outside on the drill pad from like midnight till probably one in the morning. So we, we got about an hour of sleep. We racked out hard, like I was literally asleep on my duffel bag and had the pillow. And then he wakes us up at like 1.30 and says, all right, formation at zero two. So we get up and we do our formation at zero two and he says all right first formation tomorrow he gives us like a big brief and the commander comes out there and talks to us and gives us a big outgoing brief because we're about to ship to basic training and you're great americans and we get done with the brief at probably 2:45, and he says all right first formation is zero four tomorrow go in and get some sleep it's zero two forty five so i go in and literally sleep for maybe 30 minutes and then i have to get up and shave and shower and be 15 minutes prior to formation. So my entire time in reception, you're homesick, you're in a new place, you don't know anyone, you don't have any friends, you're getting yelled at constantly, you, you can't sit down or you can't do anything unless you're told you're standing for 90% of the day and you I got two hours of sleep for three and a half, four days. It was the worst experience of my army life and I pray for you because everybody has to go through it and your experience may vary. I got rushed through reception, but reception sucks. So I got, I hope you guys enjoy this new little story time segment of my channel. I'm gonna, I, I rambled a little bit in this video. I'm gonna try to keep them shorter, but that is reception. Reception is a big catch all. Like there's a lot of things that happen in reception. So I tried to get through it as quick as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. You can come over to my social medias and ask me questions directly. I get back to everybody. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video and I will see you in the next one.